Designing a kitchen has never been this easy. Hi, I'm Kritika and in today's video, I'll walk you through Kohom's kitchen design tools, showing you how to create stunning, functional and realistic kitchen layouts in just few clicks. Whether you are an architect, interior designer or someone passionate about home design, this tutorial will help you bring your ideas to life with precision and creativity. Also, exciting news, Kohum is heading to KBIS 2025. Don't miss out their kitchen and closet design workshop. Details are in the description box. Now, let's dive into the tutorial. Open Kohum and you will see options for a new 3D project, new kitchen and closet project and new house project. I will click on new kitchen project to get started. Here, we have two options to begin, either by selecting start design to create a custom project from scratch or by choosing from the design templates and the floor plan templates for pre-made layouts. I will start with a new project to demonstrate the interface. Now, we are inside the Kohom's workspace where the interface is structured for significant designing. On the left hand side, you will find tools to create rooms, adjust wall structures, add doors, windows and customize kitchen elements, closets and decor. This section also includes rendering and working drawings. The top toolbar contains essential options like file, save, undo, clear and access to the toolkit. Sidebar provide view options along with the property panel to customize objects. At the bottom, you can seamlessly toggle between 2D, 3D elevation and ceiling view. Now, let's start designing the kitchen. I'll begin by creating the room layout. By selecting the room option, I can use the straight wall tool to define the space. On the right side bar, I can adjust the wall thickness and start drawing walls by entering precise dimensions. Simply click, drag and drop your walls will be ready. Double clicking on a wall dimension allows for quick modifications. Once the structure is in place, I will select room and change the room type to kitchen, which will automatically update the flooring. Next, I will add a French window and a sliding door from the room tab to enhance the design. With the kitchen space ready, it's time to add cabinetry. Navigating to the kitchen tab, I will select base cabinets and choose a no handle unit with drawers. Then simply drag and drop it into place. From the right hand side bar, I can adjust its dimensions. Next, I will add a functional cabinet, specifically one with a built in stove. followed by additional cabinets including a sink cabinet. To complete the setup, I will explore the appliances section where Kohom offers a variety of brand option. I will choose a refrigerator. You can browse through categories like dishwashers, microwave, ovens to add other necessary appliances. Switching to elevation mode, I will carefully adjust the placement of the refrigerator for accuracy. Moving on to the wall cabinets, I'll go to the wall cabinet section and choose no handle units. First, I will add a chimney cabinet above the stove and then place additional cabinets as needed. Using the properties tab, I can adjust their height from the floor to ensure a well-balanced design. I will quickly complete this step by dragging, dropping and fine-tuning the cabinet placements. Once the storage layout is set, it's time to install the countertops and the moldings. Clicking on the hammer icon under the toolkit, make sure you are on the kitchen option. I will select countertop and customize its front edge and molding style then add a backsplash choosing the material and adjusting its thickness in the advanced settings to finalize the details 
I will use the toe kick molding tool from the same hammer icon, selecting the style, material and height before generating. Now I will customize the cabinet materials to match the desired aesthetic. Selecting a cabinet, I will navigate to styles at the right hand side properties, then go to the door style and modify the material. Instead of repeating this process for each cabinet, I will use the material brush from the toolkit which allows me to pick a material and apply it across multiple cabinets effortlessly. To ensure the visual appeal, I will add decorative elements. In the decor tab under the kitchen decor, I can choose accessories like oil bottles, spices, chopping boards, pots and plants to place around the kitchen. It is very simple, search for the decor item and drag, drop and place. Additionally, I will add window covering, adjust their size and switch to ceiling plan to incorporate lights ensuring a well-lit and inviting space. Go to the decor and select lights and add accordingly. You can customize materials, lights and finishes. With the design is complete, it's time to render the final project. I will open the image tab where on the left I can set the aspect ratio, resolution and fine-tune lighting options and adjust the camera settings on the right. Once satisfied, I'll click generate and Kohum will process the final render. And that's how you can design a beautiful and functional kitchen using Kohum. Whether you are working on a client project or planning your dream kitchen, these tools make the process smooth and efficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such tutorials. Also, don't forget to check out my previous tutorials on Kohum Architect and Interior Design. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for daily design inspiration. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.